A typical layout of auxiliary boiler system is shown. The fuel oil pump takes suction from the diesel oil service tank or heavy oil service tank through the three-way changeover valve. The pressurized oil is supplied to the boiler burner through a solenoid valve. The pilot burner is fired first to light up the main burner. A flame sensor senses the flame of the pilot burner and actuates the fuel oil solenoid valve for the main burner. Feed water pump takes suction from the hot well and discharges to the boiler drum through feed water regulator. The feed water regulator maintains the water level in the boiler according to the steam demand. Before starting the boiler, you have to carry out a few checks. Check whether all mountings are fitted in place. Check whether all inspection doors are fitted back. Shut the main steam stop valve. Open the air purge valve. Open the feed water pump suction valve, delivery valve, and boiler feed water valves. Start the feed water pump and fill the boiler up to one-fourth of the gauge glass manually. Stop the pump. Position the changeover valve to pass diesel oil. Open the fuel oil pump suction and delivery valves. Open the heater bypass valve. Close the heater inlet and outlet valves. The boiler has to be fired manually for a short duration at regular intervals to warm it up. If fired continuously, thermal stresses will be induced on the shell. Start the fuel oil pump. Start forced draft fan. Wait for at least three minutes to purge out the furnace space. Press the ignition button to ignite the pilot burner. Start the main burner in manual mode. As the main burner lights up, stop pressing the ignition button. Stop the main burner after 30 seconds of firing. The boiler has to be warmed up according to the maker's recommendations. As the boiler warms up, the water level rises in the gauge glass. After the water level stabilizes, start the feed water pump and put the regulator in use. Steam will start blowing out through the air purge valve. Shut the air purge valve. Fire the burner in auto mode. It will cut off at the set value of 9 bar. Crack open the main steam stop valve. Gradually open the main steam stop valve to fully open position. The burner will start firing automatically as pressure in steam drum reduces. The boiler is changed over from diesel oil to fuel oil as steam is available for heating the fuel oil. Heat the fuel oil service tank to 80 degrees Celsius. Open the heater inlet and outlet valves. Close the heater bypass valve. Open the heater steam valves. Steam pressure is maintained by automatic operation of the burner. Pressure switch controls the burner according to the set pressure values. Alarms are provided to warn the operator of low and high steam pressures. Fuel oil temperature is maintained at the required value for proper combustion automatically. It is done by controlling the flow of steam to the heater. 
The local temperature gauge should be checked periodically. The feed water regulator maintains the water level in the boiler at half the gauge glass level. A water level sensor sends the signal to a controller which controls the feed water regulator. The boiler feed water pump runs continuously. If the water level decreases below the set value, an alarm is sounded to warn the operator. However, the water level of the level gauge mounted on the boiler should be checked periodically. Close the main steam stop valve. The burner will cut off when the steam pressure reaches the set limit. Change over the burner to manual mode. Stop the fuel oil feed pump. If the boiler is shut down for longer duration, then it should be changed over to diesel oil before stopping the pump. Stop the feed water pump. Change over the burner to manual from auto.